My prom date ditched me without telling me. So there's two main people you need to know to get this story. First, there's a guy, let's call him Ethan. And there's a girl, let's call her Claire. So me and Ethan have known each other for a long time. We were never really friends. We never knew each other that well, but we had been snapping for a long time. And recently, me and Ethan had been snapping like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like we were like snapping, right? So one Friday night, he's like, hey, like I'm having a party tonight. You trying to come? Of course, me. Obviously I'm gonna say yes. I mean, this boy, like Ethan, He's so attractive, guys. Like, I I think he's gorgeous. I always will. He is a grade younger, though. And I'm a senior in high school, which makes him a junior. But whatever. I was like, okay, yes. Like, I'm coming. Like, I'll be there. I get a ride from my friend Maddie. We have the same name. So, like, twins. I'm rooming with her next year. Um, she takes me to this party. Me and Ethan talk a little bit here and there, but I'm not really talking to him that much. However, he ended up giving me a ride home. And he was like, if you ever want to like hang out, like text me. So next couple days go by, he texts me. What you doing? Like want to do something tonight? I'm pretty sure we just got Chipotle. And then I ended up going back to his house and his family was talking to me and all this stuff. But like they were giving me like relationship vibes and like, guys, like I don't want that. Like I just got out of a relationship a couple months ago. I'm not looking for anything like that. But I was like, okay, whatever. Like it's chill. Like I'm sure that's not what he wants either. He also got out of a relationship recently and a lot sooner than I did. But it was fine. We had fun. We hung out again, I think two more times. Then this one night, I was about to leave, he was driving me home, and he kissed me goodbye. It was a really good kiss, actually. Um, a very good kisser. Good for him. Okay. And just to escalate things a little bit more, Take My Breath Away was playing. Like, it was like a movie scene. Like, I don't know what was going on. <sighs> oh, my arms, they're so tired. But it was like, the scene was set, okay? The scene was set, let me tell you that. The next day, this boy, Ethan, doesn't respond for a long time. Mind you, in these few couple days that we've been hanging out, we decided that we were going to prom together. We had decided that we were going to prom together. We pinky promised that we would not cancel and that we were going, like we were locked into prom, okay? He didn't have a date, I didn't have a date, like we were going to prom together. Pinky promised twice you don't break pinky promises like unless you're like insane you don't break a pinky promise but whatever anyway the day after the kiss he wasn't responding the entire day nothing no text i think i was undelivered for like 20 hours when i finally got a response it was dry whatever so a couple days go by we're barely snapping i'm like okay like this boy like where is he at? Like, what's he doing? I start to get texts from my friends. They're all like, Ethan is going to prom with Claire. Claire is a very pretty girl who goes to another school. My response obviously was, no, he's not. I'm going to prom with Ethan. i had been going around saying that I was going to prom with Ethan. Ethan was going around saying that he was going to prom with Claire. But the only person that Ethan did not say or did not tell he was going to prom with Claire was to me. Ethan was not going to inform me that he was going to prom with another girl. Everybody else knew, except for me. <sighs> Sometimes I genuinely do not understand what goes through guys' heads. And I don't think they do either. So finally I text Ethan. I say, WTF, you're going to prom with Claire? He doesn't respond for hours. The end of the day comes. I get a, yeah, but there's more than that. Like, I'm listening. So I said, okay, I'm listening. Again, a whole another night, a whole another day goes by. End of the next day, he responds. This whole, whole paragraph about how it was just too stressful with me and he thought that I wanted a relationship and I had to stop him right there. I do not want a relationship with a junior. I don't want a relationship with anybody, but especially not a junior. And I told him that his ego was way too high because not every girl wants him. Boys need to be humbled. Why do we not tell them this more often? Not every girl you talk to wants you. Yeah, you're cute. I'll give you that. You were sweet while we were talking. 
But that doesn't mean I want to date you. It's not what that means. I'm going to college in a couple months and you're gonna be in high school. I do not want you. But you don't cancel prom. And if you're gonna cancel prom, maybe tell the girl that you're supposed to go with that you're canceling. Just a little bit of advice. I love the way she's handled it, to be fair. She just doesn't actually seem too bothered. I think she's bothered about the fact that he said that he was gonna to go to prom with her and changed his mind, she switched up, decided not to tell her. It's almost like he wanted to try and embarrass her in a way. Like it's almost like he wanted her to like get ready for prom, get excited about it, and then just get to a point where like he just doesn't show up or something like that. I don't get it. I, I personally don't understand it. And it does sound a little bit delusional on his part, the fact that he thought she wanted a relationship when she, it sounds to me like she made it clear from the start that she didn't want a relationship. And the girl's got a point. She's going to college, he's going to be in high school. It wouldn't work. It just would not work. But I don't know. It just sounds like this guy is maybe just a bit too big for his boots, maybe. I totally love what she said at the end, how like guys need humbling sometimes. You know, you get a lad who thinks they're good looking and they just think they could pull like absolutely anybody. And it's like, no. So, I quite like that comment that she made. But um, I don't know, I just I don't agree with the fact that he went around telling everybody that he was going with somebody else but her. Or the fact that he just promised it to her and didn't mean it. Do you know what I mean? And then the replies thing, like, oh, I don't get that. If, if you're not like vibing with somebody, why leave it hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to respond? Because then you've got to reply to them two days later and that person's going to text you back and then you've got to reply to them again two days later. Just reply to them quick, get the conversation done, get them cut off, finished. If you're going to act like that anyway, I personally think that's the easiest way for that person as well. Surely he doesn't want the stress of having to reply to her every couple days if he's not interested in her. Just, yeah. It just doesn't make sense, does it?